so they used uh, a big pine that fell over with the root ball and they piled all of these around the the root ball of the of the big black pine see it's a huge structure a huge amount with a very nice fake fire pit as you can see there is no sh no 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 remains of of um, of uh, burned burned wood so it was not used by humans it's it's completely fake it's amazing one of the most the most amazing structures i've ever seen it has two compartments one here you can see and the one here and another one here amazing there is some hair here but it could be hair from a human it's only one hair i don't know if i will if i will take it you see how huge it is it's pretty big I'm going to f to film the other one for you guys to see they also used they also used a big a big pine but they, they 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 took it here because it's not from here as you can see they transport this huge pine with with the root and they placed it against this one and then they placed all the other sticks you can see across here another one there and they place all of these Hi guys, so I decided to come again to Irun, where was the sighting of the Yeti of Irun with photos, where a father and a daughter photographed with their cell phone a creature screaming and running uphill. Uh, I have, I have, I went, I went here the other, like six months ago. I have done some comparisons, but I, I'm planning to do some more that you will see during the video and now i'm visiting the structures that i know it's late so it's almost uh, I, I get i think the sun has 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 come down it came down so we have a slightly slightly window to film this okay so let's see there were so the structures are exactly at the same place they are the same this one has a rock here near the entrance inside some rocks uh, you can see around Tomorrow probably I will I will visit these ones again to take some photos because now it's 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 probably too late. So this one it's pretty much the same. I remember I remember I remember it pretty much the same. So nothing different here, and this one also the same. I don't see anything new any new structure at least at here i will explore these pine woods a little bit further so you have a rock here at the entrance as you can see so 
this is the other structure it's pretty much the same also a fake as you can see also a fake fire pit inside with a few rocks nothing much different trunk at the entrance that I think it was inside in February or January I don't really remember the month that I came we are going to climb the mountain to see the spot to do some comparisons at the size and today we are going to sleep in the woods and I will put my recorder during the night recording all night long I will do some walks before I, I go before I go to bed so if we have luck maybe we can see something heard something it would be awesome
We are now climbing to the top of Aiko Haria. Uh, it's a, a pretty steep incline. So, I see you guys up there. So, uh, as we climb, a few small structures are appearing. As this one. There are few. Some of them are not as big as the other the other TPs. They just mark the way. This is the trail where people go up the mountain. This is the trail that the that the father and his daughter went up when they when they filmed when when they photographed sorry when they photographed the Yeti of Irun so as we climb inside these pine woods and these beech tree forests I was expecting some structures to to find some structures like in the other forest a couple of miles southeast they used a dead and fallen pine tree to stack and to lean sticks against so it they they you you got them it's difficult to sort out them bef between them and the original uh, branches of the tree at first glance you, you stop here and you, you you don't notice but all of these sticks were leaned and oh, and these ones are the originals but not this one on the other side the same thing so we are still climbing to the top You see the Bay of Irun down there and you can see the type of incline that we are facing to up there. So a few more minutes and some rests between a few more hours. Hi guys, we haven't reached the top, it's, it's up there, but we, 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 we don't need to reach the top, because we are precisely at the place where the father and her daughter took the picture with the cell phone, so we have, like a, we have this, this this photo that that I that I have um, copied and print, and we have the the panoramic view, and it matched perfectly. You probably guys you are not seeing because it's it's that area there, and it's it's down there, but it's 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 at the it's at the, um, at the shade and at the bottom, so. You, you don't see it probably quite well with the with the with the GoPro camera. I will try to go there to that pine and to the place like where it's my finger. There's a there's a, a, ver, a very old pine that is already dead, and the, the place where the Yeti w was, it's a little bit down, like 20 meters to this side. So I will take photos, I will try to reach the bottom and Vera will take photos of me down there at the place and, comp and we, comp we, we will compare it later with the, 
with the original photo from 2016, I guess. So, let's see. So Vera is at that mountain top and I'm going to try to get down to the to the place where the where the Yeti of Irun was and I have been measuring and trying to compare by the photos that I've took now from up there and comparing looking with my binoculars and it was a, it was huge no way it was a guy on a on a fake costume yeah it's a pretty difficult difficult trail I guess most of times only the horses and the cows and the sheep use this and the Yeti the Bazahaun from the from the Atlantic Pyrenees you can see that these pines down here are big pines at least they have the wheat of my own torso let me see the best place to to get down there you see me standing standing by these pines and I think I'm seeing the the dead pine tree down there. So I have to use my both hands guys to to get down so I will get back to you in a moment. I'm standing next to the pine that I used for comparison on on my video. Vera, if you can see, Vera is up there on that block of of rock so far away and the first tree is this one the first tree on the photo that i will show you when i do the video is this one the one that i'm standing it's the one right next to the right right next to that first tree as you can see the tree has the width of my shoulders at least 50 centimeters 60 centimeters width where i have done some photos and some super super zoom photos from up there and now i'm going to i'm going to that uh, that old pine that is dead and to the place on the rocks where the the creature the yeti of irun was okay to compare it, it was a very deep deep incline to get here i had to i had to went barefoot so not to sleep in all these in all this vegetation so see you guys in a minute you see the pines behind me Vera is up there and I'm on a ridge that Vera is being taken photos and videos but I didn't uh, I didn't get to the place where it was it is very deep very very difficult 
from where I am and Vera took photos there are still a ravine down there and he was on that top right there uh, right after the the pines on the other side you can see the forested uh, uh, slope with all those pines but you can see that the the, the last ridge he was there on that last ridge and on the on the video I'm going to compare my photos here to the size of the Yeti climbing the the slope and running if you remember the the report he was yelling and running uphill and I can tell you guys DC you cannot run here it's 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 way too steep and it's full of rocks and in the in the grass is very tall you you are always stepping on on holes it's it's very difficult i have scratched my legs already and now i'm going to i'm going to initiate the climb again so this is the the dead old pine that on the photo in 2016 it was still alive so I'm on my way guys see you guys up there so, hi there people um, after I did my my first video about um, about the Irun sighting it had a lot of views more than 5,000 views so it's it's a very it's a well-known sighting from Europe, one of the best ones, if not the best one, because it has a witness report with with all the report, with all the what happened, and it has a photo. So the photo that was shared initially on a blog is this one. And when I last year when I, when I start uh, digging about all the information about this sighting i realized that this photo could not be right i had a lot i have a lot of experience with uh, with using google Earth, gps tracking and uh, ever researching an area in my computer before i go there because of my my background on 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 nature conservancy i use a lot the, that type of tools so uh I did realize that this this was not correct. Then I discovered that the problem was that the the photo was invert inverted, simply inverted. I don't know why. If they wanted to to keep the place and disclosed, if they want, if they they didn't want to share everything, so they they invert the photo, which is not normal because supposedly the, the cell phones don't do that or cameras unless you 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 do it by yourself so you you just have to 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 invert the photo again and like this and it's completely different now and um now you can see the correct angles at the place so the last time uh I was on a hurry at the place. I didn't, and it's it's very difficult because it's it's near the coast. It's very high, so you don't usually have the good weather to to go there. If you want to go there and to 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 take this kind of measures and to do this, you have to have good weather because the 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 the, the clouds are usually low and come and come from the sea very quick. So. In, in an hour or two you you can you, you can't see anything and you are in the middle of a ravine not knowing where the where is the best place to 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 climb or to to go to go up or to go down so a little bit uh, um i went there again two weeks ago uh there was was coming with me to help me because i wanted to to discover the place that you can see on this photo where the guy witnessed the creature the yeti climbing the um, climbing the the mountain 
So I wanted to discover the place. I wanted to take my own photos and I wanted to, to go down to the place where the Yeti is and someone uh, and ask someone in this case Vera to take photos of me in the place where the Yeti is to compare um, to compare some some measurements. So so we did it. We really did it. Here you can see the place where Vera was standing and the guy took the photo. So I was at the place, I did find the place where the, the shot was taken, the camera shot or the cell phone shot was taken. Then I tried to get down in, in this slope. And firstly, I tried to come here and then it, it was proven very difficult. I would need ropes to go there because it's all ravines. Then I tried this way. This was even worse because this it's completely a ravine, a dropping ravine. Then I climbed it again and I tried to went down this path and this one was a little bit easy, but not as easy as you can think. So Vera, Vera just waited here for me to go there. Then I took some photos near the trees just to prove you guys that the trees were big. But then I went here and here it's the place where everyone thinks the the creature was and now that i am analyzing my data that i took and what i saw at the place i really think that the creature was even further on this side of this mountain and on this slope and i'm gonna i'm gonna explain you guys why so I went down here, I took a photo standing by this tree, then I went here, I climbed over here, and I went precisely to the site, to the place where you, you, all people think that the Yeti was, they, they, they think that he, they were, the Yeti was standing on this ridge, and that's not true, because I was, I was here and I, I can tell you. So... The problem is that this is like a ridge here. And to go from this place to this place, it's not just two or three steps. It's like a very big slope, a ravine, and then you have to climb to this slope here. So from here to here, it's like 100 yards, 100, 100 and something meters. and as you can see here, and I'm I'm just I'm 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 showing you, I'm going to show you guys in other photos. The the ravine is like here and here. So these things are they are not blocks, they are tufts of grass that that grow in big blocks of grass, very big. And because of the light of the of the sunlight was shading this area and lighting this area those those blocks of grass were looking like rocks but they were not rocks they are just like like here you can see these blocks of grass they are everywhere here and you can see it on the video so the ravine is here so the creature was not in the ravine in this slope she the, the creature was on the slope on the other side where i i didn't went because it, it i would have to climb to to get down with ropes and would be very difficult. I didn't have the 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 the, the material to go there. I didn't I, I didn't have the gear to go there. So, but I was standing on this rock here. So my photos that I'm going to show you are photos comparing me here and the creature on the other side of the slope. You can see on this video that I'm showing you guys. You can see it on Google Earth. So the place where Vera was and the place where myself, where, where I was standing. So the pines, I had to, to go through these pines and I was standing on this ridge. So 
as you can see, between the ridge and the creature, there is another ravine and a slope. And it's like 100 meters. So 200 meters, not 100 meters, 50, uh, around 50, 60 meters to the, to the supposed place where the creature was. I'm, I'm not yet certain if it was here or a few meters to the side, to the right. But the, I have measured and between, between the, where the photo was taken, so where Vera was and where I am on the ridge, the, the, there, there's a 200 meter distance. And between the place where I where I am and the place where the creature was, it's more or less 50, 60 meters uh, more. So whatever comparison I'm going to give you guys, the creature was still further away from me on the photo that uh, that the place that I that I am standing. So you can. The, the measurements that I'm going to give you are not as as correct because the creature should have been bigger. N not a lot bigger, but it, it should have been bigger because it was further away than the place that I was standing. Okay. So this is this is a shot uh, like a frame from the video that I'm going to to show you guys but before i show you guys the video i'm going to show you the, this frame for for you guys to understand so this is the ridge here where i am standing you can see the ridge where i'm standing here so this is a ridge so you cannot go from this x spot to this export in one, two, three, four, five footsteps. From here to here, it's like 60 meters, but because of the angle of the photo, you cannot see the slope. So this is the contour of the ravine and the slope that is hidden. And because the creature was on this, what you guys on the beginning and all of the researchers that I have even on the blog that we're talking about the rocks, they are not rocks, they are just tufts of grass that were enlightened because of the because of the sunlight. So here on this photo that I'm showing you guys, I I have like a photo of me standing on at the same place where the creature was standing. And what I want to what I want to show you is is these these circles are like landmarks that I used to to align the photos and to 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 show you guys that we are correct on the evaluation of the place because here it was a few years ago, so this small pine is not yet still grow. It was very little. I think you can see something here. As you can see, something green here. But this black dot on this circle is this black dot on the photo of the Sasquatch. And this rock and this one, this the point of this rock and the black dot is also seen here. And this rock here is this one seen here. So you can see it here. A lot of places that you can identify as being the same place. But remember, this is April. And I went there in September, so that the vegetation it's a little bit different. The pines are not as big, and as you can see, this is this this thing here. It's the shade, but it's the shade on the slope and not the ravine because the ravine was different. This is another photo that I have used for you guys to see. So you can see on the green line, you can see the actual uh, ravine contour. And that yellow, you can see and compare where the shade was. So the creature was with with it, with their feet, with, with his feet 
on the sunlight, so on the grass around here. And this is only shade. This is this contour of shade and not the contour of the ravine. So that's why I'm saying that the creature was not on this ravine, but on the other slope and further away from my position. And even on this photo, you can see the substantial difference between my stature and the stature of the creature. So everyone claiming that this was another hiker just uh, using a, a dark suit or someone on a costume, they are completely mad. As you can see, the difference in size, it's absolutely amazing. I am not uh, I'm I'm not a big guy but I'm I'm also not small so for at least Portuguese standards sorry you all in, uh, Dutch people that are the, the tallest in the world but I I measure 5 foot 7 5 foot 8 um so now you can start to guess how tall was the creature uh, and thinking that the creature the creature was not actually on the ridge that I am. She was, the creature was 50, 60 meters further, further distance. So for you guys to see this on this photo, I I, I tried to align so you can see that I, I, I tried to align at my best and to zoom at my best the my photo uh, with the photo of the of the witness so as everything is at at one or two percent less or more or less the same size in both photos so i could compare and i i cut the creature from the photo above and i placed it where i where i near where i'm standing and i placed it where exactly in the place that i think the creature was so as you can see, it's not twice as big as me, but it's it's close. So I did measure it. Uh, you can actually measure a photo. You can take it in inches, in millimeters, then you can it compare. You just do the math and you can, by comparison, you just can, you can just guess how much tall the creature was um, because you know how tall I am. So 5 foot 8, 174, 75 centimeters for European uh, viewers. So now you can do your own math or try to do it on the, on the video, but I will show you guys the, the difference or what I found out. Uh, so another photo here I I just placed where I where I think it is the top of the head of both of us and the feet uh, the creature was a little bit crouched and with his arm hanging on his leg so I assume that the legs were around here but it could be that their, the feet could be if the if the creature was standing standing tall and 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 straight, it could even be um, the 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 feet could even be higher or lower as you can see. So measuring it and doing it with some caution, I have two lines on the feet of the creature. As you can see, two lines underneath near where I think it was the feet, but I re I really don't don't know because the creature was like crouching, but it it could be on the first line, it could be on the second. So anything and comparing with my stature that it's five five eight, at least by direct comparison and measuring the actual picture, you get at least nine to ten feet tall. So if you know anyone that is nine to ten feet tall and it's and it could wear a costume, 
and could climb a mountain with a 45 degree angle running and still shouting and yelling and screaming from their lungs. If you can see, if you, if you know anyone that could do that, you just tell me. Um, for, for the, the people used to the metric system, nine to 10 feet tall, it's like 275, 280 to three meters tall. It would have to be a guy with 275, three meters tall guy. I don't know. I don't know if um, anyone's still alive. Uh, I think there are a few world records that are pretty, that are around 2.5 2, 2. 5 meters, but I don't know if uh, there was anyone living in history that would reach the 10 feet tall, three meters tall. So as you can see, the creature was not as, muscular it was a it was a big foot that it was pretty slender but as you can see and comparing the the forearm of the creature with my arm only the forearm measured three feet so one meter of forearm any human forearm doesn't with with hand with the hand stretch doesn't doesn't go more than 60 centimeters so it's pretty amazing. So I would like, definitely, I would like to, to go to Irun again, explore the cave. If you guys remember on the video, there was a big cave. Um, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with, um, with the findings. So on the first video, I, I measured, um, the measures were not the best, but it 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 already was. Um, you could already see that the creature was very big. So on that video, I I estimated that the creature would have been at least seven and a half eight feet tall. So now with much more precise measures, you can see that the creature was at least nine to ten feet tall, and I'm standing with my. 5.8 feet <laughs> almost right next to the creature so it's it's amazing guys it's it's uh, it's it's one of the best reports one of the best um proofs that we have in europe um it, it's definitely uh, an amazing place a place that i i value I have so I have seen the TP structures, the the stick structures all around. So um, you can see that's it's there's something going on there. Um, I don't know if they are every they have, they are they are they are there every time. Maybe not, but. It's an amazing place.